Hi, it's Seta here. First of all, I would like to thank everyone who support the channel by purchasing one of my assets. Thanks to you, I was able to buy a new microphone, so I hope you can hear me a little cleaner and better, and also add 16GB of RAM to my PC. So, thank you from the bottom of my heart. And in this video, I will show you how to set up the sunset lighting in Unity URP. If you are a beginner, I recommend watching my video on the night lighting as well, since I explain some options in more details there. Of course, the settings shown here can be freely modified to match your scene and the mood you want to achieve. So, let's get started. In this video, I will be using Unity 6 and we have the same familiar scene from the previous night lighting video. First, let's create a skybox. Right click in the project window, select create, material and name it sky. Now we need to change the shader, so let's select skybox, but this time we will choose procedural instead of cube map as we did in the previous video. This way we will get the procedural sky, but we won't be able to use skybox texture. So, it's up to you which shader you choose. If you decide to go with cube map, I explain its functionality in details in the night lighting video. Now, let's drag our material into the scene. And next, using directional light, we can set the sun position in our scene. Let's place it just above the horizon to simulate the sunset. Change light appearance from color to temperature and set the sun temperature to around 4000 Kelvin. Increase the intensity to 1.3 so that the light is more visible in our scene. Now, if we click on our material, we get uh, several options to adjust. Here we can increase or decrease the sun size, so I set this to 0.046 and another parameter allows us to control how focused the sunlight will be. So I change this to 1.2. The next parameter is atmosphere thickness. In the real life, at sunset, light passes through more air, so most of the blue light is scattered to the side and our eyes are mainly hit by yellow, orange and red light. So here we can control the thickness of the atmosphere. Using the next two parameters, we can adjust the color of the sky and ground. I will change the sky tint to dark grey and the ground tint to black. Finally, we have the exposure settings, which allow us to adjust the brightness of the entire skybox so I will set it to 0.6. Now let's move on to the lighting settings. To open the lighting window, click Window, Rendering, Lighting. And in the new window, go to the Environment tab. In Environment Lighting, change the mood to from Skybox to Gradient. And now let's set the ambient light for our scene. The sky color should reflect the color of the sun, so I will set it to light orange. Set the equator color to light grey and the ground color to dark grey. In our scene we will also want to use fog, but in this case it will be used more for tinting objects that are farther away to match the sun colors rather than a full fog effect. So let's enable fog and select exponential. Set the color to the sun color, which is dark orange, and set density to 0.002, as it should only lightly tint distance object. Now let's move on to the post-processing settings. To add post-processing, right-click in the hierarchy window and select Volume, Global Volume. Create a new profile and choose Add Override, Post-processing, Tone Mapping. 
then change the mood to neutral. The next element we will add is bloom. And here we can increase the intensity to 2.7 to increase the bloom effect. Using the scatter options, we can adjust the radius, but I leave it as it is. And using tint, we can give it a specific shade. So I add this bloom a little pink tint. Now let's add another override color adjustments. Here we first increase the contrast of our scene and slightly reduce the saturation. Using exposure we can also brighten up the scene a little bit. Next add another override which is split toning and here with the shadow options let's give a shadow a slightly reddish tint. Let's add another override, lift gamma gain, select gain and let's increase this and give it a slightly more orange color. Now let's add another override shadow midtone highlights. Here we want to reduce the reddish tint that dominates in the shadows. So let's select shadows and lighten them a bit and add a little green. Finally, let's add white balance, which allow us to shift the temperature to get a warmer or cooler tone in our scene. Now all left to do is add reflection prop and bake the scene. I encourage you to experiment with these settings as each scene is different and perhaps slightly different settings will suit to your scene better. And that's all for this video. I hope the settings that I suggest to you will be useful and will help you to create a sunset in your scene. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments below. And until next time, see ya.